Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here, and welcome back to another crypto video. If you guys are enjoying the crypto news, make sure you press the like button and subscribe. I really appreciate it a ton, and it helps out the channel. And the question of today is, when did you buy your last batch of crypto? Was it today? Was it a month ago? Was it a year ago? Let us know in the comment section down below, and let's get into today's news. First, Bank of France says Ethereum and XRP could power central bank digital currencies. Posted on April 2nd, <laughs> not April Fool's, like a lot of people thought it might be. The Central Bank of France is launching an experimental program to investigate the feasibility of rolling out its own central bank digital currency, which is often called CBDC, which is the abbreviation for interbank settlements. In a document released on Monday, the Bank of France has invited interested parties to participate in the program with applications due by May 15th. The plan is to identify a number of economic benefits and potential use cases for a digitized national currency. To quote, the challenge of these experiments is not to replace these two existing forms of central money, but to identify how innovative technologies could improve the efficiency and fluidity of payments, uh, payment systems and financial infrastructures, allowing a better financial sector to ensure the smooth financing of the economy. The central bank is also analyzing how cryptos can be used to power CBDCs, and in a recent internal report, the bank highlights Ethereum and Ripple XRP as two crypto assets that could be used to tokenize central bank digital currencies. Again, to quote, this solution could be employed to carry out end-to-end -end transactions, including final settlement using assets that are tokenized on a blockchain. Since the attributes of a unit of the wholesale CBDC, file represented the currency unit keys enabling use, may be integrated in a crypto asset circulating on another blockchain, which is possible on Ethereum and Ripple, for example, it would then become possible to use the unit on this blockchain. The wholesale CBDC unit could be exchanged via the secondary blockchain between entities not belonging to digital currency's formal circulation network. Pretty interesting to me to see that they are having some plans and that they're including XRP in that. There's actually a link to the French bank as well, bankfrance.fr. You can read through it here, uh, the whole document. At least it's a two-pager, but at this point I'm just assuming it's real i don't actually have the official source and i don't know if this bank france is the official website as i'm not french or anything but um i guess it's easy to be debunked if it's not real i think you guys will find it out pretty quickly if it's not and just let me know in the comment section down below uh, but as of yet I'm, I'm assuming that this is a real document which is really quite positive Digital custodian anchorage adds xrp storage for institutional customers Digital custody provider Anchorage has added custodial support for XRP, the company announced in a Thursday blog post. Pretty plain and simple, to be completely honest with you guys. In a press release, Anchorage said that an ecosystem of institutions are already holding XRP, and now they've hopped on the bandwagon. As the third largest digital asset by market cap, XRP appeals to a number of our institutional clients, which include VC funds, family offices, hedge funds, and other large-scale crypto investors, Yogo Monica, president of Anchorage, has said. Anchorage has always aimed to support every asset that meets our standard of quality and security. Very important part right there. Yesterday, we briefly went over one of the privacy features that XRP might be including, but already they're following the quality and security, I guess, standards, and XRP does both. Particularly during these uncertain times, we're proud to be growing our list of supported assets and improving operational efficiency for our institutional clients, he said. Again, guys, looking pretty damn good to me. Ripple XRP signaling fresh surge after Bitcoin and Ethereum. Ripple is rising steadily from the 1680 support area against the US dollar. XRP price is likely to rally 3-4%, similar to the recent move in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Ripple price is slowly gaining bullish momentum above the 1720 level against the US dollar, and the bulls are likely aiming an upside break above the 1780, 1780 level and 18 cent resistance. 
And there is a key bearish trend line forming with resistance near 1760 on the hourly. And the pair could dip a few points, but it remains well supported at the 1720 level. So that's still true. Um, I guess we're just below 18 cents, most likely. I haven't followed it too well. Uh, most likely 18 cents as a resistance holds and 17.2 has also held as a support. I think those two are the main points here. 1680 next support, but it's pretty far away. Amended Ripple class action covers possibility that XP is not a security. I went over this, yes, maybe the day before yesterday. I don't quite remember, but I quickly want to give you guys a recap because some people in the comment section I noticed did not fully understand. Well, there's a lawsuit going on right now, right? Between Ripple and, I guess, somebody or some people who claim that XRP is a security and they should be getting their money back because of false advertising under California law, blah, 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 blah. And in that lawsuit, it's been shoved, it's been backfired, it's going back and forward all the time. In there, um, one of the complaints actually kind of claims that XRP is not a security. And here in their words, an amendment to the class action lawsuit against Ripple filed March 25th included additional claims of false advertising and unfair competition to quote, under the alternative theory that XRP is not a security, which is definitely an interesting thing. The disgruntled investor's sixth and seventh claims for relief would appear to be a direct hedge in the event that the judge rules against the original suit, suggesting that XRP was illegally sold as an unregistered security. So you can see this two ways, right? They're, they're, they're having seven or so complaints right now. And if all first fives are like just thrown out of the window, you're like, all right, but XRP is not a security, so that doesn't hold. Now they also have a complaint um, for in case it is not a security. But I personally see it as a good thing because even they now see in that sense, a couple of reasons as to why XRP really is not a security, right? If you guys get the full story there. So I think it's a positive thing. On the contrary, um, they're, they're actually broadening their horizon to get money from Ripple. And again, if they win this lawsuit, it could be a very big loss to Ripple and the legitimacy of crypto as a lot of people will try to get their money back from different companies then and a lot more people will ask their money back, which, which might really hurt out <laughs> the whole space. So I'm not too happy about that, but ripple facing new allegations in xrp securities lawsuit this article sees it a little bit from the different side here the the kind of momentum and the the the, the, the attitude towards it is like all right this is a positive thing for ripple and for xrp as there is now at least the 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 the, the uh what are they called the people who are trying to sue them how do you call them in english i don't remember well, those guys are, are like doing them a favor because they're also raising the possibility that XP is not a security. Here, it's, it's more a negative thing uh, in the sense of they're just finding up some new allegations to mess Ripple up. XRP liquidity index prepares to hit new all-time highs in three ODL corridors by Yuri Molchan. He says, while XRP is posting bullish signs on charts, XRP liquidity index in major ODL corridors is about to hit new all-time highs recovering from the hard fall on March 13th. So it took a little bit of a downfall for a little while right now, but actually is doing pretty well, to say the least, and we're looking to break some new highs pretty soon here. Liquidity index for CoinsPH, you can see how that's doing. For XPD Australian dollar, you can see how that's doing. XPD Mexican peso, you can see how that's doing. All doing ridiculously well, at least getting back to levels from like half a month ago, and most likely we'll cross those as well. And I think one of the most interesting things to see is how this bar is just ramping up, right? Because I remember when this used to be like nothing. And now every day to look back, it just seems to be a new crazier number and a crazier number. It used to be really strange that it got to 6 million. Now it's at 20 million already. And there's no stopping that at all. You know, it's, it's going to go with such a rapid pace. In just a blink of an eye, it's going to be at 100 million. And in another blink of an eye, it's going to be at a billion dollars. And that's just really insane to me. All the money that's flowing here, guys, is just completely insane. Ripple price prediction, XRP USD breakout hits wall at 1774 as consolidation sets in. Confluence detector. 
Ripple price overcame the resistance at 1750, but failed to clear the selling pressure at 1775. XRP USD is trading between stacks of resistance and support areas, giving way for consolidation to take over. And that was today's video, guys. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it. Hopefully, you liked the quick little news update and you learned something new. If you guys enjoy the daily crypto videos, make sure you press the like button and subscribe. I'll keep telling you because some people might forget, all right? You never have to do anything, but just pressing the like button takes no effort. And even if you are a content creator, you know, everybody likes likes, right? If you liked it, just press it. If you didn't like it, don't press it. That's, that's how simple it is. And subscribing, you don't have to. But again, if you are following the crypto news daily and you want to be updated with all the new things in XRP and hopefully all the other cryptos as well, I think it would be a very good idea to subscribe. And also don't forget the comment of the day or the question of the day was, when was the last time you bought some crypto? We'll see you guys again in another crypto video.